actual facts, Tara. I am Goddess Hatet Hororotet, and this is a general love reading for Taurus. Hey, Taurus, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Taurus, I'd like to thank you for stopping by at my page today. And if you like me for a reader, do hit that subscribe button, okay? Uh, like, share, hit the notifier so that you know when the goddess will be uploading more of these videos, my darling Taurus. Because I have such a treat for you today, Taurus. I mean, look. <laughs> This is the mermaid tarot, and we'll crack it open together, my darling. Okay. <laughs> yes, it comes with a whole book. <clears throat> it comes with a whole book, <laughs> Taurus. And yes, I am reading it. <laughs> I am reading it, Taurus. No, Taurus. We're going deep into you, my darling. Deep into the corridors of your mind. Deep into the abyss of your feelings and, and your soul and your spirit and exactly how you are feeling right now deep within. And if we're going to travel into the abyss like that, that's the reason for the deep water sounds you hear. <laughs> we have to call upon those beings those deities of the abyss. <clears throat> um, the beings deeply hidden inside of self, the, the masculine and feminine aspects of the hidden parts of you, Taurus, okay? And that is what we just called upon, my darling. <clears throat> what do you want to say, Taurus? What do you have to say, my darling? What is it? Oh. Well, we have two cards here. We have the nine of wands as well as the nine of pentacles. You're on the nine, Taurus. <laughs> How wonderful. Well, the nine of wands is someone who is basically putting up their defenses, okay? They're putting up their defenses. They are not allowing anyone inside the perimeter, okay? Either that or on the other side of the fence, okay? <laughs> They're putting up their fen their defenses and they have um, these red balls at the end of the, uh, the wands. I suppose they represent anyone who passed by who was un, you know, unwelcome, that they will react, okay? They will react to them and, and cause a, a negative effect that will make them not you know, step over the boundaries, okay? My goodness, that's a powerful defense. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Well, you're uh, basically satisfied with what you have, you know? You're satisfied with what you built. You're satisfied and, and you're just chilling at this moment. As well as you could be very cautious of coming out of the water or allowing anybody in to the water. You have your defenses up around yourself, my darling, and why is that, Taurus? What is going on? Okay. Here is the Five of Swords and the Star. This is the star, <laughs> which is why, you know, this is like on the cover, right? <laughs> And I just love the fact that it's the star because it's so beautiful. And she looks like me. <laughs> okay, so right now. Uh, let, no, no, no. We're going to say the star. The star is here. 
you are uh, very smug and and holding in this beautiful star so Taurus you have built up the defenses around your beautiful star okay and you are very cautious of allowing anyone close to your star to your beauty your your uh, your healing your uh, your love well, let's see how the cards unfold, but <laughs> I like this role. <laughs> uh, yeah, the five of swords. Anybody who tries to come in and hurt you, anyone who tries to come in and hurt your star, or someone has built up a defense around you, you are the star, okay? And they have built up the defense around you like so they don't nobody comes in with the five of swords and, and, and tries to take anything from them okay because this person has lost the battle they have lost they are they are like wounded and and hurt okay so this is basically what will happen if somebody comes past the perimeter they will be hurt okay <laughs> so Taurus either you or someone who you love is ready to defend okay let's see I got the, the four of wands at least three times or four times. I think, let me think. No, probably about three times <laughs> so far. Okay, the four of wands. Okay, yes, you are cautious. <laughs> you, my darling, my sweet, my honey, you are cautious of letting anyone close at all to this this twin flame this 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 union okay you like oh no oh no 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 you stay back there if you cross over you will be hurt you will be hurt okay mm. so you have built up the perimeter deep down into the abyss of yourself you know the star is probably unaware of this <laughs> because the star is just shining and being who they are what they are but you you are you know keeping everyone away from the star's light ah oh. oh my goodness what is this oh see here is the seven of swords wrong wrong okay so somebody somebody has wronged the star here well, she is your twin flame. He is your twin flame. Your person is your twin flame. And the Seven of Swords is stating that either the, the star has done something wrong or you are preventing anything wrong being done to the star. My goodness, this is a strong defense. I've been getting that a lot. People are being defensive for their lover. Here is the uh, the Ace of Swords. Okay, yeah, you will bring the sword. You will bring the sword to this fight. If if they so happen to get past the defenses, wounded, you will still bring the sword, the sword of truth. Okay. You will still uh, have another weapon if they got on the other side. Oh. Woo. Let's see. <laughs> Taurus, this is your Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> ten of Pentacles. Yes, baby, that is your family. Your your twin soul, your twin flame is your family. Okay? And you will defend your family against anyone who tries to wrong them. Mm -hmm. Come on, bull. What will we have here? The Three of Wands. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Looks like she is focused on building something, okay? Or she's standing behind, sitting, or, or no, she's sitting here, waiting on something. Looks like. Looks like she's waiting while she is building something, or she is unable to move, perhaps. She's unable to move. Hmm. So you, you hold them uh, as prisoner. Okay, you're holding them as prisoner. Anybody who comes close to your star, who tries to wrong your star, 
Now, Taurus, I hate to flip it, my love, but it has to be flipped, okay? I hate to have to flip this on you, okay? Because it's also giving a, another message, a dual message to me. This is saying that your star, you are wrong for having your star wait and be imprisoned here. Okay, this is also saying that she is your your family, your four of wands, that you are cautious of letting anyone close to because you have imprisoned her here. Okay, she is alone here and you have her hair in the water, unable to move, unable to get by. Okay, you build up the perimeter around her, that she is the prisoner, as well as um, if she ever tries to escape, you will hurt her, okay, uh, with the sword. The sword is also a very strong, seductive energy. It represents the phallic, and that means that uh, you will utilize the phallic to keep her imprisoned. You'll utilize the phallic to keep her uh, here, unable to move. She looks somewhat like the star, doesn't she? <laughs> Well, Taurus, I hope that's not the case, but I flipped it for you. Or someone is doing that to you, Taurus. Someone is holding you hostage, and I'm, you're unable to move. I mean, you are the star here. You are the beautiful star here that they have dimmed your light and put you into uh, of this energy here. And they just want you to be with them in this cage. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Taurus, is that you? Is someone doing that to you, my darling? Let's hear from the gods, man. Let's hear from the ancient ones. Okay. We'll have to hear from the gods, man. I like the first version. But knowing where we are and what this world is, there is always a flip side to it. Okay, now what does the ancient ones have to say? <laughs> now that came out on accident. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Okay, the fool. The fool is here. Well, <clears throat> any fool who decides to come through the barrier will be dealt with. Any fool who takes the leap over the barrier will be dealt with. Or if the star decides to take the leap over the barrier to leave, she will be dealt with. You will devour her with this phallic energy. Ooh. Taurus. three cards here and I intend to take them. This is the star once again, the will, divine will of destiny, as well as the world. These are very powerful cards, okay? Now, <clears throat> the star is here as the one who you are guarding, the one who is your family, on the four of wands. The, the star is uh, healing the star is getting your wish getting your wish yeah that's what's going on here you're getting your wish with the star Taurus and uh, keeping people away from the star here is the world here's the uh, divine will of destiny and it's going to be for some time that you hold her here or that you keep people away from her keep them away from her because she is your world okay so you're going to keep someone at a far distance or keep her inside as above, so below. Gab and Nut, okay? That's Hat Tet Horar Tet. And uh, we don't know who the fool is yet, but I think the fool, oh no, <laughs> I don't think the fool is an ancient Egyptian deity. We wouldn't want to say that any ancient Egyptian deity is a fool, right? <laughs> so here's uh, the the world. Yes, you're keeping people at a distance. 
from your star. That's it. Okay, that's your whole message. That you are uh, very defensive. Either way, she's not leaving. Or uh, nobody's getting close to her. Now, Taurus. Whew, it's the crystal spirits. Let's crack it open together. Okay. Alright, my darling. <coughs> See what the crystals have to say. What does the crystals have to say to the Taurus? Crystals. Crystals are so powerful. They enhance everything. You know, they are powerful tools that will support and enhance any decision that you make. And look at this big old mess. <laughs> All right, let's try again. I'm going to master this one day. Maybe I'm, you know, being too gentle with the codes. Maybe I should be more diff more, more harder with it. <laughs> but Hodor Tet is very soft as well, so that is who I am. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Let's see. Got one more here. Okay, this is it. What is the crystal advice? Obsidian. <laughs> obsidian. I got obsidian before. For you. No, obsidian is number thirty-nine. It's a book too, it's a whole book too that I'm also reading. Obsidian. So, essential meaning is observing the self, self-reflection, know thyself. Ah, the relationship message states, aware or self-awareness means stopping long enough to acknowledge who you see when you observe yourself, the beautiful you and the you who is imperfect. We are all works in progress and as you engage in honest self-reflection you will start to see what you were overlooking the qualities you have been seeking in a partner but have forgotten exist within you you have so much to offer as the greek or the ancient greek axiom goes know thyself to be authentic in any relationship you have to know and love yourself just as you are. The obsidian spirit is here to remind you that you are awesome. You are awesome, Taurus. If you are the star here, you are so awesome that someone is keeping others away from you purposefully. And are keeping you hidden they're keeping you hidden because you are too bright of a star too marvelous <laughs> gracious and beautiful <laughs> or if that is someone that you have stumbled upon towards you plan on uh yeah utilizing that phallic energy to make sure this remains hidden okay my darling my sweet my honey my my and <laughs> uh, if this resonated with you, do like, share, and subscribe to my page, like I said. And uh, if this didn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it. I got you next time, okay? I promise. I got you next time. Uh, now, that's it, Taurus. I know you want me to stay. And I do. I want to stay in your, in your abyss. <laughs> I like
like this this place uh, because everyone needs protection from time to time. Everyone needs to be protected living in the world that we are living in. And things are just going havoc and people don't need to be alone right now. Anyway, ayi metrok. Until next time, Taurus. I love you. I love you, Taurus. Peace, love, and light, my darling. Bye-bye.